happy in the sense that he was one of the bodies that was washed up on a sea beach. But because he was a known character that morning, the papers had it splashed, which had been abducted, and the fishermen, the police officers who were called, the magistrate who came to the beach, uh, all those people knew whom he was. And therefore, I was so lucky that uh, the process of law went on. The body was taken to the mortuary, and I was asked to come for identification. And there was an inquest from which a court case came. Uh, nothing came of the court case, of course. And they asked for very little. Tell us where our children or our husbands are. Let us know, so that if they are dead, we can mourn them with dignity. If they are alive, let us go and look for them. Lord, please help me. What to do is to help them to come to terms with life, and also to help them in their development program, so that they could start earning enough money for themselves and their families. The Centre for Family Services was registered on the 1st of January 1993. Currently with an office staff of 9 and a field staff of 18, they work with women and children living in remote villages in the districts of Kurunagala, Kandy, Matara and Monaragala. Among the people like Indrani, all those people who have lost, they are finding it difficult to come to terms. But most of the other people have no, Manorani was actively involved in the center's work until 1997. She was not only the center's founder, but its counselor, friend, doctor and inspiration as well. She spoke about the listening ear and it is her vision that led to services being taken into remote villages in 1992 and 1993 very difficult for them to accept and come to terms. It's only time that does it. Manorani believed that emotional and economic support should go together. Victims of southern violence, finding themselves suddenly thrust into the role of breadwinner, fully appreciated the logic of this argument and vision. The centre has expanded its scope of activities to include social issues and needs. Its view is to empower women and make them the architects of building a better tomorrow. All the troubles we've had, from the north right down to the south, it's been the mothers, it's been the women who have been strong. Because it's the women who bear the brunt, bear the loss, and who have to get up and go. Right, they have to get up and go for the sake of the families, for the sake of their other children, for the sake of their husbands, for the sake of just plain living. And it's the women who have won the front, and it's the women who are the strong ones. The Centre for Family Services has set up a scholarship fund and offers an annual educational scholarship to about six needy children. The children's program focuses on developing a child's sense of self-worth to shape their attitudes and values. This we hope will enable them to develop their skills and knowledge in order to become leaders in their village and the wider community. Leaders with vision, commitment and honesty. When you lose a child, you lose yourself. And for that child, you have to get up and fight. Not for only that child, but for all the other children. It's not my son. It is all the sons and daughters. Not in one part of Sri Lanka, but in every part of Sri Lanka. It are lost. And it's all so beautiful, you say. Why is it that we cannot have peace? Surely our beautiful land 
honest people who were a gentle people. Surely we deserve more than this. What answers could they give all the women of Sri Lanka? Wise, erudite, academic answers. No answers in the stage to grief of the people of Sri Lanka. But there is hope, there must be hope. Thank you. 